Okay, guys, uh, Royal Wedding's coming up. Do you think it'll be a good thing for London? Yeah. Why is that? I, no, I think it'll be a positive thing for London itself. A lot of people will be flying in from abroad. I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of a car, sort of carnival atmosphere. Yeah. Gets everyone involved, gets the communities out, having a bit of fun. Good like exposure for the Royal Family. Um, I think that, yeah, it puts London on the map along with the Olympics. I think any anything that happens big in London is got yeah. to be positive for the city, so yeah. And their relationship is very much in the public eye. How, how do you think they can keep that, maintain it and keep it healthy, given all that attention? Yeah. Patience, compromise. Because you know with the royals, they've got different things, of, different ways of doing things. So it's going yeah. to be a bit complicated, actually. Yeah, she needs to be very ready for like public scrutiny. Yeah, going to all them boring programs and all yeah. that. Yeah. But she needs to be patient with him. Lily, what makes a happy and successful relationship? Um, I think lots of laughter. All oh, right. Okay. Lots of presents. Uh -huh. <laughs> Communication. Communication and loyalty. Honesty. I think it's love, trust, and being best friends. Like negotiating. Cuddles and kisses, all the time. <laughs> being good friends. Listening to the wife. <laughs> uh, saying yes, dear. <laughs> Understanding your partner's wants and needs and being able to manipulate them more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reword that. And also food, I think. Food, always good. <laughs> We spend most of our time, most of our time eating, going out and stuff like that. Lovely. Um, can you tell us things that you think you should avoid when being uh, in a long-term relationship? The thing to never do is never keep secrets. Don't cheat on your husband or don't cheat on your wife, then obviously you'll have a good relationship. Don't go out for a burger when you've got steak at home. <laughs> uh, don't be too, uh, like, clingy. Not clingy, but... Uh, Oh, needy. <laughs> needy. <laughs> Listening to the mother-in-law. Okay. Not go to bed without saying goodnight. I still love you. And what are the things they should be doing to keep their marriage alive? Um, spice it up a bit every now and again. Um, spending as much time as they can together, uh, privately. Date nights, um, you know, keep the romance going. Try and make every day special and be spontaneous about it because I don't know, just to make it worth living. Is there anything you'd want to say to Kate and William to wish them well? Well, or advice? well she's nice. <laughs> um, well, I just pray that Prince William and Kate just have a wonderful marriage and they're happy and they don't let any pressures get to them and they just do what they want to do instead of what everyone else wants them to do and just be happy. Yay! I'm so happy they're getting married and I hope they have a wonderful marriage and I can't wait until they become king and queen. Wink Bolt.